Okay, let's give this a shot. All right, uh, right now, what we are going to give a shot, give a try is, I want everybody to open up that Hamilton versus Jefferson document. Now, inside that Hamilton versus Jefferson document, you're gonna see two PDFs, okay? So one of those is the worksheet in which you're gonna to wanna to dump into Yep, so that you can write on it, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to put that into Notability, okay? And I'll explain how this is set up in just a moment, okay? Then you're gonna to wanna to take this bad boy and download it, okay? And I'll explain why in just a second. So you're gonna go over here, hit that download button, okay? And then open it up. Because once you do that, for whatever reason, I put little notes in here that you guys are gonna to wanna to follow. You guys got me? Okay, so see where it says the people, see where it says democracy, okay? Take note of where that is, the power of state governments, okay? Here's one that I missed, by the way, okay? You guys see on that T-chart that it asks for the power of state governments and the power of federal, uh, federal governments? You guys see that on the sheet? Okay, I didn't put where the federal governments is, but it's right in here, okay? Right where my cursor is here, this is where you'll be able to uh, define that, all right? And I know it's not written on there, okay? But let's start with Hamilton, okay? The people, okay? The people. Do you guys remember talking about how Hamilton felt about the people? Remember that a little bit? Okay? This is a, this is directly out of Hamilton's mouth here, or his pen, so, uh, so to speak. All communities divide themselves into the few and the many, okay? So what is Hamilton saying? There's always going to be, there's always gonna be this divide. The first are the rich and well-born, the other the mass of the people. The voice of the people has been said to be the voice of God. And however generally this maxim has been quoted and believed, it is not true in fact. It is not true in fact. What is he saying is not true? Wash your hands. What is he saying is not true here, kids? Yeah, that their voice is not, okay? It, uh, the voice of the people has been said to be the voice of God. He's saying that's not true. The people are turbulent and changing. What is, what is turbulent? What does that word mean? If the pilot comes out in the middle of your flight and says we're experiencing turbulence, what does that mean? It's shaky, right? Okay, he's calling the people shaky. They seldom judge or determine right. Give therefore to the first class, oh, he's saying the upper class, a distinct permanent share in the government. They will check the unsteadiness of the second and they cannot receive any advantage by a change. They therefore will ever maintain a good government. Who is Hamilton saying should be in charge? Yeah, the upper class should be in charge because they've had training in it, okay? And according to them, they're just, they're better off to do that, okay? So I want you to go back over to your uh, little T-chart there. Okay, if you can set this up to where you've got both things Okay, that you could look at at the same time, that is going to be to your advantage, okay? But on the worksheet here, okay, so first one, okay? What are you gonna write down? Under Hamilton, it says, summary of opinion. These are your words, okay, where, the, where my uh, cursor is right here. You're gonna write in your words how you think Hamilton defines the people, okay? And then you're gonna give me just at least four or five words, okay, a part of a quote that explains your synthesis. Does that make sense? Okay, so give me in your words how you feel Hamilton feels, okay, about the people, and then the key quote right there. So, for each one of these, you're gonna be able to do uh, just that. Okay, you're gonna give me an, uh, how Hamilton feels about the people, how does Thomas Jefferson feel about the people, and give me a key quote that explains it. Okay, um, opinion of the other, 
that's referring to like, how does Hamilton feel about Jefferson? How does Jefferson feel about Hamilton? Does that make sense? Okay, and then I told you where you can find the national government, right? That's right below the state government, okay, in the reading. Any questions about what we're doing here? None? Okay, I'm gonna give you just a little bit of work time and I'm gonna come around and answer any questions that you might have.